Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. Today, we are continuing on with the action. Last episode, we opened up a new area, the movie theater, and I wanted to sort of check it out a little bit. It's movie theater level one for right now. Um, so there's not really too much going on here. Uh, this feature is not available right now. Okay, so I guess there's maybe not too much we could do at the movie theater unless we wanted to call more zombies in. Not too worried about that at the moment then. You can see there's different experience for different plants we can get here. The most interesting is definitely the star fruit. We don't have star fruit unlocked yet, so if we could call in some more zombies later, that'd be great. For right now, I am saving all of my gems so that hopefully I can get the star tree premium upgrade. Because here's the thing. I have no way to purchase gems right now because I am playing on an out of country account. It, it's complicated and confusing. So I have to earn them in game right now. So hopefully we can just do that right now. Um, going back through the devour tower. Uh, so this one, oh, is that spikeweed? Spikeweed and squash are unlockable. As well, there are some house blueprints we can get. Also, there is clubs. That's cool. So let's try this out a little bit. 4 8, 4 preview battles, 3. Let's get to it. So we're gonna to try to uh, get the master reward here. New threat, stealth zombies. They can't be hit until they start attacking. Use walls or anti-stealth plant like spike weed. So, ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> what is with this guy? The taco imp hides in a taco, avoiding shots until he attacks. Defeat her, or she attacks, sorry. Defeat her to earn that taco for your plants. Spicy. Um, that sounds nice. Uh, we also have plunger zombie. I love her hair. Uh, fires toilet plungers that pull plants towards her, unclogging. And that's about it for the new ones. So I do wanna change up my strategy here. Maybe we will switch out um, the buttercup for the walnut. That'll be good. We just got this pun at the end of last episode. This is the flaxseed. Um, so we'll mess with this a little bit, see how it goes. I don't know if there's anything else I'd rather do. Maybe instead of that, we'll, we'll do a little switcheroo here and see how this goes. Okay, so the our team power isn't much higher than the zombie power. This could be a problem. What about this one? They take less damage from every, okay, that's armored zombies and ranged zombies. We should be fine. Let's hope that we can get the mastery completion by not losing. That's that's a big hope for sure. Uh, but yeah, I am ready to do this. We'll probably get started with Snapdragons at first. Actually, yeah, we can afford two right off the bat. I put that in the wrong spot, though, which is not good. Uh, how do we want to do this then? I'll probably put that walnut there. We do need to start setting up walnuts for the taco imps that'll be coming in. But yeah, interesting. It's just, we're running into cool new things every episode. And that's super exciting. There's just a lot of new things to experience in this game already. And I, I just, I'm really happy for it. One more, there we go. So we got our three Snapdragons up. Now I think it'll be good to focus on things like the Walnuts and, oh, here we go. There's that Imp. She's gonna try to attack, but there's a Walnut in the way. And that should get us a spare taco. Whoa, and it gives it to whichever plant, I guess, gets rid of the, uh, the thing. Interesting. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for Walnuts to set up, we need to get some future to down. There we go. So I think we're gonna start speeding some things up. That's the first stage complete. And we can already promote some people, which is great, because as you can see, we'll have an extra taco. Can I, I can't move forward without using this taco though. So that's a bit unfortunate. I'll do that. I would have loved to use that on a flax seed, but I just didn't have the opportunity. Okay, so there's a full symmetry right there. I probably should work on the other Snapdragons as well. Got it. But so far the game hasn't been super crazy challenging. Of course, we're probably still in like the baby early steps of the game. But it is interesting to know that we're just able to hold on tight. So more tacos, more symmetry, looking good. Let's use some plant food on some on some zombies. Maybe, uh, there's no zombies here. Great, that was bad timing. So yeah, we'll, we'll work on some flax seeds, I guess, because they do restore quicker than the, um, the blockbusters at least. Looking good. Uh, but this is the last of it, unfortunately. But we'll go ahead and just launch this. Whoop! Boom! That is great. So almost 14,000 points. We did fantastic for sure. We win uh, 130 coins. Let's move to the next battle now. We're almost out of keys. So I gotta keep that in mind. Um, but we'll have plenty of other things to do in today's episode if we do run out of keys. More taco zombie imp things over this way. We also have that plunger zombie coming in. So. 
Get that there. Actually worked out pretty well. Because I put the Snapdragon in the right place to begin with. Thank you very much. And then maybe I'll change this up a little bit. Maybe I'll work on the flax seeds in the background now. I don't know if that's the best idea or not. Ooh, let's definitely get you that. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I put the Snapdragon in the wrong spot. What am I talking about? Oh no, wait a minute, no I didn't. That wasn't me, that was the plunger zombies. That's what they do, is they pull everything forward, I guess. Well, that's definitely not what we want, but you got a taco, so I can't like move you. Well, actually, no, I can move you now. Isn't that great? I actually, I really like that. That might be one of my favorite additions to this game is the fact that you can move them around like that. Um, we're going to leave everything as is when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to placing anything with our sun. There we go. That way there's a better dis distribution there. But I wanna put down more flax seeds. I probably wanna slow down the competition as well. Okay. Um, hmm. Got it. So that's some symmetry, but we're sort of low on sun for everything else is the only problem now. Oh, we can do another Snapdragon there. One more walnut. No, but we lost the other walnut. Oh darn, oh darn. Um, Just do this quick. There we go. So it gives a taco to seemingly somebody random. Workshop trick, do or do not, or donut. Do or donut. Okay, quickly there, and quickly here. That's what I'm talking about. And that was another taco as well. Oh, there's still more. Okay, we're still going here. We're just a bit longer. Let's make the most of it then. Come on, please, please, please. Boom, 120 symmetry for that. So we should be good with this. Yep. There we have it. You win, stage two clear. That gives us 13 hot sauce bottles. So we have just enough keys to do one more battle here. So let's make the most of that. Oh, we got the balloon zombie coming in this time. So we might want to keep with that same strategy if we want. I, what, what happened there? How did I manage to do that? <laughs> Whoops. I guess I'll do something like that and like this. And hopefully that's enough for now. It should be if I combo with that. Maybe. I might need a pea shooter to help us out there. This is problematic so far. Going four and five. That's good. But this has not been easy. Jordan made a couple of poor choices. Did he move our thing? I think they did. Huge wave of zombies is coming in. All right, let's do that. Big launch. See ya. Not too bad, now was it? Stage complete. Let's get a walnut somewhere. And I might as well promote these three. I would like to move this guy up. And we're good. <laughs> Very stressful. This level is a bit more challenging. And also, if we fail, we don't get the mastery. So I'm just trying to make the most of everything, pay extra attention. Oh no, uh, what do we want to do about this? Hopefully this is good enough. Ah, darn. I guess I'll do this. Sort of a waste of sun, but we get a taco out of it. I just need one more taco and we're good. Got a full lane of that. Workshop trick, do or do not. Do or donut. Got it. Come on, just a little bit more until we can get another set of symmetry. There it is. Thank you very much. Oh wait, they didn't destroy the donut. No, you win, stage clear. And we do get that master award. It should be a golden pinata. Indeed it is. So there is one experience for the pea shooter, one for the bonk choy, one for the walnut, one for the kernel bolt, one for the bamboo shoots. 228 coins, quite a lot. I like it. So that was fantastic. We got another stage done. The thing is, is that we don't have really too many more keys. The only thing that can re relieve keys is either gems or time, I think. Uh, wait a minute, who would make a huge zombie tower with a, with giant robot pincher legs? Isn't it obvious? Baron Von Mecha Crab. Walnut, you always say that, it's never a crab. 
No time for pondering tower mysteries. We have to save Dave's cave. Crap. Four complete. So for that, we unlock the spike weed. Hurts all zombies that walk over it. Does heavy damage to pushed obstacles. Prickly. Squash! My boy, the squash. Uh, smashes the first zombie that gets close to him, along with any other zombies in the same tile, then disappears, slamming. House blueprint, uses blueprint to upgrade your house and upgrade its perks, and then finally clubs, work with other players in clubs. I'm a big fan of defending, but we can't defend every block at once. We're just a level bunch of weirdos. So what do you suggest, starting a weirdos club? Check out clubs. All right, I guess we are. Um, so down this way, now you can join or start a club. Donate plant seeds to other players and earn club caps and unlock exclusive club plants. Huh. Club, join a club. Meet other players, donate seeds, unlock a new plant. I can either create or join. Let's create one, that sounds like fun. So let's just call this one the zebra herd. All right then. So I guess I'll type out a description real quick. The club for Zebra herd members, which is everybody watching, including you. Wait, no, that's not an exclamation mark. Uh, there it is. Perfect. So, language is English, region is North America. It is public, and it costs a thousand coins to make one. Well, we're gonna do it. Awesome, so I guess you might be able to join. Oh, I should have seen what the different icons were. Club chat has optional text narration capabilities. Uh, Tap anywhere to continue. I'd, I'd, I'd rather not have that. Activate chat narration. Yep. No, thank you. So I will be honest, I don't know how often I'll be able to check chats and stuff like this, but I will try my best. Um, there's of course a lot of videos for me to record and stuff, but I guess there's like ways you can get donations. I don't know if I would want to do that. I feel like that would, wouldn't be fair, but if I have the time, if I have the extra stuff, I might send out donations to other people. That'd be nice. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what that's gonna be like, uh, but, but we're trying it. We can also claim some rewards. Over this way, we have level three. All right, basic pinata, tap to open. One for Bong Choi, one for Colonel Polt, one for Spike Weed. Oh boy, one for the Blockbuster as a level up, and we get Starfruit. Yes, 31 coins. Two new plants out of that, spike weed and starfruit. Very happy to see it. We are about halfway through getting the next one. I cannot wait to open these. I have two days and 12 hours to figure out how to get 300. Um, hopefully we can do that. See, one thing I'm interested in, I guess you have to pay 300 gems every week. That's a little crazy. Um, so let's go back to the house because we did, okay, we got a pinata here. That's gonna be one walnut, one spike weed. That's it, but we also have the blueprints. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, let's go here. And when it also, yeah, it would cost gems to open that up, so I don't really want to worry about that. But here we go, increase chance for seed packet rewards for these. It's gonna be 250 coins. We can most definitely afford that, even though we are starting to run low on coins now. So we just gotta be careful. But let's do some stuff. First off, we gotta level up for the blockbuster, get him to level four, I guess, and that will upgrade his health, attack damage, and a um, damage per second, pretty good. He's level four. And we have new plants, we have the spike weed. We can use him, let's put him over you. And then the star fruit for sure I wanna try. I think we'll have to put him over the snapdragon though. So we'll try something like that and see how it goes. In the meantime, let's head to the next place. We're supposed to save uh, Crazy Dave's stuff now. So I, I wanna try that out. Um, oh, but do I have enough? If I try to play it, it doesn't even tell me where the keys are. If I go this way though, now it should tell me. I have three keys, but I need probably more than that because there's going to be, okay, new threat is backbiter zombies, tap for details. They attack plants from behind, use plants that attack to the left. Interesting, we have star fruit. Um, Oh, so I can actually, oh, let me do this real quick so that I can make sure I get some more keys. Okay, so I watched a few ads to get more stuff and look at the entourage of new zombies we got going on here. Rocket scientists with the little uh, roller skates, rockets to the back of the column, then attacks your plants from behind, meteoric. So it looks like for him, you know, we have to have, if we had a split pea, that'd be perfect, but something like spike weed or probably star fruit is gonna be our best bet. On top of that, um, I thought there were more new zombies. Okay, there was two, <laughs> two new zombies. That's not quite an entourage. Minor threat, digs underground, getting behind your plants, then attacks them from behind. Subterranean. So that's just like the minor zombie from, Plants for Zombies 1. 
I don't even know if he's in BBZ2. Um, I think we have the best bet, because I don't think this attacks from behind. Okay, yeah, I don't think it does. So with that being said, we're a little low on power. I'm a bit worried about it, but we can try it and just sort of see how it goes. Yeah, we'll just try it and see how it goes. Hope for the best. Because we've not been in a situation where we've been underpowered before. So there certainly will be a situation. Ready, set, let's just, <laughs> I'm more ready than ever. So let's try this out, maybe like this. Ooh, okay. That works really well. Let's go all in with the starfruit then, for right now. Starfruit reloads super quick. Wow. I like it. That's gonna be very, very useful for, uh, oh, but you guys don't do anything to him. Okay. Lesson learned. Uh, but was it learned soon enough? Final wave. If you get past me, I'm gonna be in trouble. And, oh, wait. Is it doing damage to him? Nope, he just ate my brains. Darn. So what if I uh, quit the run? Because I want the mastery reward. Sorry about that. Um, I just wasn't ready for him. <laughs> I need to pay attention. The moment a balloon zombie comes out, I need to be able to throw down the cabbage pult then. Um, getting immediately to work on that will be the best bet. So let's try again because I want the mastery reward. We get a whole new plant for this too. So it's like very exciting. Let's continue. I think we can do it. It just won't be easy. Okay. But immediately putting on a star fruit, I don't feel like that's a bad idea. Maybe putting a walnut there would be good as well. They're actually not at an angle to be hit by that star fruit. The star fruit do look a little odd in this. I won't deny. Okay, spike weed help us out. I'm not gonna speed it up this time so that I can be extra sure about everything we're doing. Oh my, that walnut is getting destroyed. Uh, okay, new one, new one. There it is. Much better. Oh, here comes one of the rocket scientists. So, it's pan panning out a little bit different this time. Because now he's moving backwards. So luckily there's no way for him to like eat our brains. I'm just sort of waiting it out for now. Aha, here we go, cabbage pole, there. Because unfortunately, we can't hit him any other way. <laughs> At least for now. Let's get another star fruit out. And hope that he doesn't land right on top of our star fruits. That would be a shame. I think he might be the last guy for this wave though. Or, or at least he's the last guy before the, the big wave comes in. Yeah, the huge wave is approaching. I just desperately need more sun. Come on now. Got it. Spike Weed was doing his thing. Spike Weed looks a lot different. It looks a lot more menacing, to be honest with you. Uh, so let's promote these three star fruit. That, I feel like, is something we just desperately need to work right now. And I will have to earn up four for that guy. So that is a bit of a problem. Oh, but he gets damaged down by the Spike Weed real quick. Good to know. I need another four for this. Man, that is that is really tough to do anything about because we already need another four sun down this way. Three, and as soon as it's ready, got it. And I think that'll be fine. Maybe not. Wow, wow, he just keeps going. There he goes, um, plant food, plant food, plant food. Let's slow this down maybe. No, he got past me over there. Oh my gosh, I'm the worst. Why did I speed it up? <laughs> Jeez. So this one's not really going any better. It's just like, no matter what I try, I think that our, our plants are just not high level enough, but I just like, geez, that just really stinks. Okay, keep at it, keep at it, come on. So now we have a cabbage pole in every lane. So hopefully that'll give me the ability to focus on some other stuff. That's what I'm really hoping for. Uh, we'll have three tacos. I'm definitely putting those on them. I wish I had a third star fruit so I could just focus on that, but instead we'll do something like this instead. Okay. Keep at it. That's at least good. I wanna speed things up enough so that we can get this star for enough to wait around for too much and get stressed out. I really wanna do something about this guy. I mean, we are, we are. I just don't want him to get rid of that cabbage pole. And he didn't. 
Come on, come on. Got him. Nice. And that guy back over that way is a bit of an issue because I don't think we can hit him from here. Oh, no, we can't. No, no, somebody got him. Good. See, I just don't have enough sun to also make like spike weeds happen right now. That's just not gonna be a thing. Oh, we got some symmetry. I don't know if symmetry makes them work faster. I don't wanna do the plant food just yet, do I? I don't think so. I say he got taken out before he could do anything. Now this is where things start to pick up a little bit. Oh wow, that's a lot of them. Whoa, <laughs> that's great, let's do it again. Wow, that's pretty good. So we did it! <laughs> the Starford is so happy. That took a lot of work, we won. Um, we need more keys now to keep moving forward. We still have a lot to do. All right, so I have more more keys. Uh, I was gonna call them tickets for some reason. Let's go ahead and do stage two and hope it continues to work out. This has been not so easy, but you know what? We need to push our skills a little bit more, I suppose. So back with the star fruits, or do we wanna go with cabbage pult, cabbage pult right away? Um, I guess we'll do cabbage pult and just sort of hope for the best. Got it. And another one. Let's get it there. So far we're keeping up all right. We'll have this full lane figured out in no time. Now it's just everything else we gotta worry about. Oh no. Will they be able to get them through? That's the problem though, is that the cabbage bolts are a little weak. I wish they weren't, but look what's happening over there. No, you're kidding me. Not not immediately, like come on. This is, okay, so the cabbage poults just can't, they can't do that. But it's like, how am I supposed to get that much sun? Oh my gosh, I can't do the whole thing over, I can't. Um, so I guess I'm not getting the mastery bonus for this one, we'll just have to try again at some point. That is super frustrating. Um, for right now, we'll do this. I mean, there might not even be any balloon zombies. I need to look at what's coming up because that might change up my strategy a bit. Uh, let's get this here. And like, this stuff does good damage, you know? Starfruits are great in that way. As you can see, that also is pretty good. Uh, hmm. Because I know the minor zombies coming up for this one. I just don't know about the other stuff. There we go. Yeah, this dog will be a bit of a problem. Did they eat the spike weed? I guess they did, geez. So there's this guy, but we still haven't seen a balloon zombie, which is what I'm mostly worried about. Oh man, he ate through that too. This dog eats everything. No, my star fruit! Get out of here! Oh my gosh, final wave coming in. I really hope we can survive it, I really, really do. Uh, I feel like we need, first off, a walnut. There we go. I was gonna do a pea shooter on that lane if I had to. Um, improve these three. I feel so unprepared, but like, what more can I really do? I don't know. So they're immediately popping up. That might be our best bet. It's looking like it, because that guy's getting taken out, no problem. Now, this lady's a bit of a problem. She's going to end up using that plunger if we don't get rid of her right away, and moving our walnut. Okay, we did stop her, good. And that guy's not much of a problem, so this is going better. It is going much better. I would love to do one more star fruit. That's at least something. Okay, so sometimes just going all in with star fruit might be the best bet. Will that damage the plants? It won't, thank goodness. I will put this here. And then we have not used this yet, but I wanna wait for that last huge, huge wave. So he gets stunned when he jumps out of the ground, which is just like uh, the miner originally. He would sort of hang out for a bit. Okay, here come the pigeons, but also the last huge wave, right? So I'm just waiting for them to get out a little bit more. But then I would love to just go crazy with this. Um, I don't know what's going on with these guys, because they just keep going. I don't like that very much. I don't trust it. Okay, that is damaging them. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even see them. I am the worst in this game right now. What is going on? Oh, and I'm out of lives. Okay, well, time wasted, but at least we learned what we were doing there. I guess, like, I got a lot of experience with the Starfruit. That really bums me out, but... That's sort of the thing with some of these kind of mobile games. Of course, you only get so many tries, and then if you want to try again, you gotta like 
try all over again, and I won't have enough keys to really get through it, I don't think. So that's a shame. I think we'll leave it like that then. And uh, because of that, I won't be able to get quite to the next area. I really wanted to unlock that plant too. I mean, how many, how many keys do I have? I have eight keys. It's gonna be three keys per thing. So I could feasibly do it. I just gotta do it again and not mess up at all. Oh my gosh. So I'm trying things a little bit differently this time. Um, I'm back on the first stage, of course, but I'm trying things with the buttercup a little bit just to sort of see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. So did this a smile and wave? I guess because there's a big wave coming up. There we go. That was it, okay, so that was actually pretty good. We saved some sun instead of doing the walnuts. I still have the walnuts available just in case. Let's promote you guys with tacos. Ready, and let's just keep going. I might wanna start slowing things down a little bit just so I can figure everything out. I'm a little nervous to say the least, but I could also set up some spike weeds like that. Do another buttercup. And that's working out well so far. I sort of like wanna hold on to see what's coming up next. But we're handling it so well that it might not matter too much. A little bit worried about the angling of the star fruit from way back there. Like I don't know if that's gonna be enough or just do well. But there were no balloon zombies this time. Like, I don't know why sometimes the game sort of changes what it's gonna give you. It makes it hard to really know uh, and plan for it. But here a huge wave is coming. And this is it, so let's use plant food. Okay, so that was like super duper easy. I don't know if it's giving us like an easier time because we failed it, but there we go. We got that done, let's keep moving. We can maybe do this, we can turn this around to be a victory. That would be amazing. So there's the minor zombie. No balloon zombie there though. So let's not worry about that. I will do this and that and maybe this. Let's speed things or slow things down. So I just really don't want to deal with a catastrophe so early on. Because I think this will be all right if we do that. Okay. Definitely getting rid of that one brown coat. Some of the buttercups are getting taken out. It's a shame, but it happens. And this guy, there's nothing on that lane, so I'm not so worried about that. Okay, just a little bit more. Keep at it. This lady shouldn't be too big of a deal. Thank you. And there we go, stage one complete, stage one clear. As per usual, we will taco these three. I mean, who else will really taco in this situation, you know? Come on, keep at it. I definitely want at least a sixth uh, star fruit. <laughs> and that lady didn't even have anything to plunge. Oh boy, so. This is where things can get intense, but we're clearing them out like crazy. Get another buttercup. More star fruit, maybe. Maybe I should get some other things out just in case. I know I haven't been getting anything major, like, you know, uh, symmetry bonuses or anything. I don't think they're a good thing to get right now anyways, because, I mean, not to say, I mean, obviously if I got them, that'd be good, but I don't need them, so I shouldn't focus on them too much. There we go. So unfortunately, he got through that. But once they get closer, they're gonna have a hard time. Like once they get closer to the pack of starfruit. And I don't know if this is like the last of them. That did not quite reach everybody I wanted it to. Oh gosh, the donuts are coming in. Okay, we destroyed the donuts. Destroy the donut. Why? Okay, whatever. We still did it! So we got through stage two. Now time for stage three. Next battle. Come on, I'm getting this mastery reward. It's happening. So what is going on with this one? We do not have balloon zombies. We do have the dog walker zombies, though, which were a problem before. I still think it'll be best, though, to put down some star fruit right away. Maybe a buttercup. And then a second star fruit, but let's put that one here so that whatever one, this, this guy's not hitting, the other guy can hit, you know? Come on, almost there, almost there, almost there. Got it. And that seems to be a much better angle. Yep. I wanna speed this up a bit and get some more out. 
I know I started the Starfruit a little to the left this time, like one space over, but I think that's fine. We're getting there. This first one's really not that crazy yet. So it seems like we have the right idea with the Starfruit strategy. It was just, I had to sort of figure out the ins and outs of it, the zombies, how, how they work, and how to best defend against them. I'm still, of course, getting used to some of the base mechanics of the game and how they work as well, so that can make it a bit challenging. Maybe I should put it around here. The, the, the dog is not the, the best thing to deal with. There we go. So this guy's coming in from the back. That really shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, he's getting destroyed real quick. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not quite done, though. Okay, let's get some plant food out. Just for this huge wave to be dealt with a bit better. And there we go, more symmetry. I love it. Is this the last guy? I don't think it is, actually. I'll get this set up, though. Come on, come on. Got it. Here's the last wave. I'm ready for it. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get you. And... Almost there, almost there, almost there. Got him. We did it, we did, defeated all three stages, it took so much work. Um, but four completed, we get level three mastery reward. I like it. And that is going to be Pea Shooter, Walnut, Colonel Pult, Spikeweed, Blockbuster, and 226 experience. So nothing too major there, but the reward was getting it done because we do get more stuff on top that we do get a brand new plant. I wanna see what that is for sure whenever it's done loading. No, it can't be. That bulging skull, those weird veins. You're supposed to be defeated. It is I, Dr. Edgar J. Zomboss, and it is my diabolical devour tower that's crushing your precious neighborville. He's not defeated. We're in trouble. Dr. Zomboss is alive. Well, sort of. This is terrible. Neighborville is finished. Let's regroup in Friendsburg. I just came from Friendsburg. 26 breeds of dogs tried to stop me, each with its own special power. It was dogs versus zombies, and you know who won? It wasn't the dogs. Oh no, I wanna, I wanna play dogs versus zombies now. Arf! <laughs> All right, floor complete! Level nine, unlocks events, participating in timed events for exciting rewards. Dogwood barks at zombies, making them take extra damage from all attacks, grows bigger over time, and barks get stronger. Chonky. Taco truck blueprint, uses blueprint to upgrade the taco truck and upgrade its perks. I can't believe Dr. Zomboss is back and with a crazier plan than ever. Wait, what's his plan again? This isn't our home lawn anymore. The world is moving and changing all around us. One more surprising event and I'm gonna soil my plants. All right, so let's check out, well, oh boy, here comes an event. Um, right here, no current events. Check back later to participate in cool events and earn great rewards. Achieve objectives during a limited time to earn event rewards. So there are none at the moment, but I guess maybe everybody will have the chance to do this. That sounds like a lot of fun. And we also have more stuff to claim this way. Uh, we have one experience for the Colonel Pult, Spike Weed, Walnut, two for the Squash, and that unlocks him. Very nice. Dogwood, two of the plants unlocked. That's great. Because a lot of people in Arena were using Dogwood. And now we can check that out right over here. First off, here's Squash. Smash this first zombie that gets close to him, along with any other zombies in the same tile, then disappears. Uh, back over this way with Dogwood. Barks at zombies, making them take extra damage. I think that'd be better than Spikeweed, even though it's more expensive. And... What about squash, though? Maybe I could put that over you? Okay. Huh. Yeah, lots of options around here. It's, it's always hard to decide. No, I think that the cabbage pole would be better. I mean, this is better against swarms, though. Hmm, it's, just, it's so expensive is the problem. Anyways, uh, I feel like, yeah, we should try Arena again. We're, oh wow, I've gone down since the last couple of episodes. That's not good. So let's find a match, because I have a full set of uh, boxing gloves. Sounds like fun to me. So let's get in there and defeat some opponents for the rest of today's episode. 
because I don't think we have enough keys to climb higher in the tower anyways. Ready, I'm ready. <laughs> so, oh gosh, this is like a scary start though, for sure. Wait, no, 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 let's not do super, super speed starting because I'm just, I'm not ready for that. Okay, um, how does this work? Um, good question. Probably should have tried this a bit more before I <laughs> just threw it down. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I have another star fruit, but I can't put it there because the zombie's in the way. Move out of the way, Mr. Zombie. Thank you. Uh, oh no, we already have balloon zombies coming in. Come on, come on, come on, ready? Set this up. I mean, also remember, it doesn't matter if a zombie gets past. So that's not probably how I wanna do that then. I probably wanna set that up some different way. Uh, we are winning right now though. Somehow, some way, I'm currently about to win. So the squash right now is sort of like, I don't know how I wanna fit that in then. I'll do that. It, so it covers two spaces. And over time it will get stronger. Maybe that's just something that would be easier to team up with like Pea Shooter then. Stage complete. I mean, I won, that's good. Uh, tacos here, of course. Oh, I never promoted the taco thing. I could have a fourth taco right now. Could be living it up with four tacos, but no, I'm here with three. So I definitely want to then get another dogwood set up at some point. For right now, we'll do this. And maybe I'm fine to speed things up. I don't know. Um, I'll do that. I need two more sun. Okay, that's not too bad. Once they fall, they're definitely in a, a more dire situation, it seems. There we go. <laughs> the dog ones are so cute, though, with their barking. I, I just, I love it. <laughs> they're so cute. Whoa, he has jumped up and scored, though, our competition. So what does the plant food here do? <laughs> I like it. Um, We're not done, though. Give me more zombies, if you can, please. Uh. I really don't like that, it's not giving me any more zombies. Come on, come on, come on. That wasn't too bad, I just, I need more. Ah, oh, that's it, so I think they won again. My my losing streak continues. No, I won, okay, never mind. <laughs> Gave up too soon, that's awesome. Um, Get three for that, we'll go a little bit higher up in rankings. I know I can do better, I just need to sort of figure things out a bit. I'm thinking maybe we should just start with Flaxseed a bit more. Um, it is a big group of zombies starting anyways, so maybe we could do that and it'd be fine. So they have more of a setup like I had before. Which isn't bad, but we'll see how it goes. So let's immediately start setting up some Flaxseed. Put one there, speed things up, because they, they deal with everything in a group like this, you see? And that can be good. And then I can maybe slow some of them down. The only problem is when this starts to happen. It's probably not the best place for the star fruit. Yeah. Can this squish both of them at once? Yes, it can. Wow, okay. Um. This is not the best start though. Gotta be honest, this might be a big mistake. It's just tough so far because it feels like if I start with anything that isn't Snapdragon, we suffer. Okay, speed things up. Get the star fruit out here. It's like star fruit or snapdragon needs to be like the starting thing, or it's just it's such a difficult thing to recover from. So there's the almost the first wave done. Okay. It could have been better. Definitely could have been better. Um, but we have taco time. I still need to promote my tacos. I gotta do that next. Okay, so we have a full lane of these. It's gonna give us bonus symmetry. Always good to see. When I can, I'll save up for another star fruit. Oh, actually, let's do this. Dogwood is still really good. Um, let's also do that and this. That one was maybe too soon. Darn. What if I did this? Would that be symmetry? That would be symmetry. Huge wave of zombies isn't coming. I'm trying to be ready for it. More dogwood would be great. Wait, it didn't work. Put it there instead. There we go. 
Did I win? I don't know, I was sort of focused. Nah, darn, they got me. Really stinks, so I'm down five of them. What rank am I now then? I still get one star, I guess that's something. Um, yeah, what rank am I now? I think that like I'm like seventh, sixth, okay. That's not too bad though. I definitely wanna get higher up, but that's not too bad. I think I'll leave it like that for now. I wanna go, of course, to the town, go to the taco truck, and I should have, oh, I don't have enough coins. There's always something, isn't there? There's always something. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. And like, I can't bring any more in. So in nine hours, it seems, tomorrow new zombie breakouts will appear and all zombie breakouts from yesterday will disappear. So let's make sure we've gotten all the other breakouts completed. Yep, and yeah. Okay, so we're in the clear. I mean, I'm guessing it's basically all I wanna do for today's episode then. I would love to do more with this, but I just can't. That's Dave's workshop. Give Gives Dave a chance to taco char charge a plant when you play it, so your next plant of that type gets a free taco. If I were to try to play this round, it has three steps. I definitely don't have enough keys for that. Definitely do not. So I'm gonna leave it like that for today's episode. That was still a lot of fun. I'll be continuing working on the game and getting better at it, hopefully in the next episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.